Ivan Perisic to Manchester United, it really is the transfer that won't go away and won't go quietly. That is because what has become abundantly clear, Jose Mourinho wants Ivan Perisic this summer. That is why Man United are trying so hard to negotiate the best deal possible for Man United to sign Perisic this summer. But Inter Milan are really having none of it. But it's not just Man United that want Perisic. Perisic wants Manchester United as well. The latest update from Sky Sports is that, as I said, Ivan Perisic wants that move to Man United and that his agent met with Inter Milan on Wednesday to discuss this move. Now, Inter Milan are holding firm on their price. They want £48 million for the 28-year-old Croatian winger. But Man United so far have only offered up to £39 million. Now, as I've said previously, Inter Milan, they fly out to China on Tuesday for their pre-season tour and Perisic wants this move completed before then. But Inter Milan are holding firm. They want £48 million. And the general consensus is that maybe around the £45 million mark would be enough for Inter Milan to let go of their man. But Man United are really trying their absolute utmost to save a few million pounds here. I completely understand that in negotiations you've got to be strong, you've got to be firm, but Man United seem to be arguing over a small amount of money when we've already been named as the third richest sports club in the entire world and we've already been named as the richest football team. So it, teams know we've got money. You can't hide that. Ed Woodward is negotiating well this summer in the fact that we've got Lukaku and we've got Lindelof, but we seem to be arguing over a small amount of money when we could just secure the signing and get it done. And DiMarzio's update on this situation sums that up perfectly because he has been speaking to Inter Milan sporting director Piero Osilio and he has said we've not even taken into consideration any of Man United's offers for Perisic. That sums it up perfectly. For the love of God, would, would just pay the money that Inter Milan want for Perisic. Because what has become clear, as I've said, is Mourinho wants Perisic. So just go out and get your man, just like we did with Romelu Lukaku, just like we did with Victor Lindelof. There is zero point haggling over a few million pounds. Ten years ago, that might have been a lot in the transfer window, but now it is not. All we can do is go and sign, I don't know, go and sign an, an iPhone charger sponsor in Sweden. Make them pay eight million pounds a year, all of a sudden that money's covered. We've got regional sponsors in Kazakhstan, in Japan, in Azerbaijan, everywhere. So what is the issue that we're doing and haggling with a few million pounds? It doesn't make sense at all. Not when we've still got things to sort this summer. We desperately need a new defensive midfielder. I am absolutely certain that we cannot mount a title challenge next year if we don't bring in a defensive midfield reinforcement. I really think we'll get found out there. Then we've got the future of some of the players to sort as well, maybe Chris Smalling, maybe Phil Jones, both being linked with West Brom. Will either of them leave this summer? I understand the need for Man United to get the right deal for Perisic and £45 million for a 28-year-old winger from Serie A is a hell of a lot of money. Man United have got a lot of money. It is all relative. Just, just pay what you want. It, you know, as I said previously this week, I'd rather we go after Alexis Sanchez, but what's clear is how many times that Man United keep going back for Perisic. Mourinho wants Perisic just as much as Perisic wants Man United. So Man United, just get the fucking deal done. And I mean, on paper, you can understand why Mourinho wants to bring Perisic in, other than the fact that he just looks like a Mourinho type player, you know, big, strong, powerful, athlete, committed, driven. He looks like a workhorse, and that's the sort of player that Mourinho loves. But other than that, it's the style of play that Perisic will bring. We've just signed Romelu Lukaku, who is an absolute tank. And we've got Antonio Valencia firing crosses in from the right-hand side. Perisic can be that player that fires the crosses in from the left-hand side. Someone like Martial won't do that. Or Mata, Mkhitaryan, Lingard, everyone cuts inside. Perisic offers a different style of play. Maybe that is exactly why Mourinho is so obsessed with signing Perisic. But at this stage, Man United, it's clear we want to sign Perisic. And Perisic wants the move as well. The only stickler is the transfer fee. Personal terms were agreed a long time ago. So Man United, I appreciate that you're trying to get the best deal for yourselves. And Inter Milan, I appreciate the fact that you're standing firm. If this was a Man United player, I would expect the club to be standing exactly as firm as you are. So fair play to that. But United have got the money. Edward would please just pay Inter Milan what they want 
so we can move on and sort other issues out because that defensive midfield problem was just as important as a centre-back and a striker and we haven't sorted it yet and we're no closer to any signing there. Maybe Nemanja Matic will come after Timu Bakayoko moves to Chelsea. But we'll see what goes on there. And as a final point at the end of this video, we've got to say goodbye to Adnan Yanaze because he has moved to Real Sociedad for £9.8 million. The 22-year-old was once known as a boy who can do anything, but now he's just followed in the footsteps of David Moyes and gone to Real Sociedad. And it's, it's a hard one to take in the fact that I was so excited about Yanaze when he came through that academy system. Like Andreas Pereira, he was just one of those players who stood up head and shoulders above anybody around him. He was magical to watch. And that debut season showed us all what he could do. But I think the issue with Yanaze is that he listened to the compliments a little bit too much and he felt that he was already there, whereas his hard work was only just beginning. And he found that out in the next two years when he went on loan to Dortmund that was unsuccessful and then got relegated with Sunderland. So this is the next big step for him in his career. Spain, Real Sociedad, it's a league in which a player like him can shine. It's a player like they like finesse players, they like flair players, and Yanaze is one of those players. And I hope to God he goes out there and absolutely smashes it. Man United have got a buyback clause in that contract, so maybe we will see Yanaze playing in the red of United in the future. But it's a shame, it really is a genuine shame, that this one hasn't worked out because everybody had such high hopes for him. But Yanaze, I wish you the best of luck out at Real Sociedad. I hope you smash it, and I'll be keeping an eye on you. But back to Ivan Perisic, as I said, Perisic wants the move, Man United want Perisic, just pay the moolah, just accept you're going to pay a few more million, get it done, get him signed, get him over to the USA for that pre-season tour. What do you think we should do? Do you think we should scrap Perisic? Is there another left winger that you think we should be looking at? that we could get for around about the same price. Let me know in the comments below as always. Drop a like on the video, ladies and gents. Subscribe to United People's TV if you're new here. We'll see you soon. Take it easy.